Hello and welcome back. I'm here today at the Knights of Middle England in Warwickshire and we're going to take a quick look at side saddles and what makes them different from normal saddles. And here's Woody to help us demonstrate. So sit back, make yourselves a cup of tea and hopefully enjoy. So we're here with Kelly from the Knights of Middle England and she's going to talk us through this beautiful side saddle. But before she starts, I'm going to give you an interesting fact that I've just found out. Did you know that ladies, when they had side saddles in the olden days, they used to not keep their syrups on their side saddle. They have to carry them around on their arm. Who needs a designer bag when you can have a stirrup on your arm? Anyway, it's about to start raining, so let's get into it. So Kelly, this is a side saddle. It is indeed. Yes. And we were just chatting in the tap room earlier on about side saddles and about how all of them on the whole are extremely, extremely old. And that is because like the art of side saddle making is really, really, really niche and doesn't really happen so much anymore. So you'll notice that this saddle here is quite old and we were actually looking at some in the tap room earlier that was stamped as being made in like the 1800s. So it's incredible and they've lasted all this time and they've upkept and they're looked after and they're prepared and things by a qualified saddler. But on the whole, they're all like super old. Um, can you you tell us a little bit about a side saddle and what makes it different from a normal saddle? Of Other course. than the fact it sits on the side. <laughs> yes. So, like you said, uh, the stirrup, as you can see, is not attached to the saddle yeah. um, and isn't unless the lady is riding in it. Or gentlemen, there are some gentlemen who ride side saddle. Uh, it's 21st century, it's not just for ladies <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Um, and this is a safety reason um, because if you're going to have a full riding side saddle generally you're going to fall across onto the offside and so we have this special safety mechanism where the stirrup clicks in like so and once that's in you can put all your weight down in that stirrup once that bars down there's a little pin here that locks in there so when your legs on top of there and your foot's in the stirrup it's nice and secure. If you were to take a fall, obviously, if your stirrup wouldn't release, you would be left hanging. But thanks to this nifty little design, if we go this way, it releases and comes off, which means you are not gonna be left hanging off the side of your horse. So that is the first thing that is very clever and very different about a side saddle design. Now, obviously, side saddle, we are sitting with both legs on the same side of the horse. So there's a lot more saddle on this side than there is on the other. And we have our two pommels here. So we have what we call our fixed head and our leaping head. Our fixed head is fixed to the tree of the saddle. And this is what your right leg sits around and hangs down off and then the leaping head can have some movement in it and this is just for a little bit of support on top of your left thigh and the leaping head was introduced when ladies started jumping side saddle to give them the support they needed for jumping hence why it's called a leaping head we have our stirrup on our saddle our two pommels if we come around to the back we can see that our side saddle has a very long flat seat Generally on a side saddle, you're gonna sit slightly further back in the saddle, which is why it's flat. And you will see uneven in its flocking. With our astride saddles, obviously, you spend ages making sure they're nice and even to sit on the horse's yeah. back. But because we are sitting with our weight to one side, we should always have more flocking on the left than we do on the right, because there is gonna be more weight on this side of the saddle. So the horse needs more support on that side. If we come round to our off side, there's no stirrup and there's not a lot of saddle because there's no leg on this side. What we do have, however, is a balance strap because when we are sat with both our legs to the left-hand side, that is an imbalance in weight so we have the balance strap which is going to balance the saddle up and make sure it doesn't slip to the left whilst we're riding in our saddle if we look underneath we've got our three girth straps as normal so for our girth which is always a three-fold leather girth for the side saddle we're girthing up as normal generally on our first and third strap and then our balance strap is actually you can see it's right at the back of the saddle to really provide support for the saddle so that it doesn't move round on the other side underneath here again we have our three girth straps for our girth fits and our point strap here which is where our balance strap from the other side comes underneath the girth and all the way up onto here on the saddle so lots of similarities but lots of differences at the same time and the points are really long is it just on this side the points are so yes. long yes on this side you see yeah. you've got a really long point yeah so on a so on a standard saddle 
your points would be, you know, on a short saddle, like a jumping saddle or a cob saddle, your point will be about here. On a slightly longer pointed saddle, it'll be about here. But this is a really long point. And the reason you have a long point on a saddle normally is to kind of stabilize it. So thinking about it, actually, it makes sense. It's got such a long point here because we're trying to stabilize the saddle here on this left-hand side. Um, and then using that balance strap coming around from the very back of the right-hand side underneath and then up onto this point strap that length of point is what's stabilizing it. And then you look at the point on the right hand side and that's a much more normal length point because you don't need the stability on here as much as you need it on the other side because the rider's weight and everything is all on that left hand side. So that point is just helping to stabilize it somewhat. I think this balance strap to the point strap is just incredibly genius. I love a balance strap. I've got a bit of a balance strap fetish. <laughs> it's genius and you can see why. You can see how that's stabilising the whole saddle, even just how it sits there. You can see how it's going to help with the rider sitting in there and the weight all being off the left side. Incredible. Do you want to have a sit in it, see what it feels like? Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I could die. Right, I'll get a mountain block. <laughs> yeah, I think I might need one. Woody's quite tall. How tall are you, Woody? <laughs> I think he was based on 15 too, but then he's on wheels. And he's on a hill. He's on a hill. Woody. I might carry my <laughs> stirrup in. Okay, this is all on it. Oh, oh my god. Okay, so what you're gonna do is yeah, you're gonna put your foot in the stirrup and then you're just gonna get on a stride like you would normally. Oh, okay. That's it. Okay. Ah, he moves! <laughs> <laughs> Stand, Woody. <laughs> For stirrup length, um, you should just be able to slot a hand underneath the leaping head yep. onto your thigh. Yep, that's yep. it. Right, and then keeping your hips facing forward, you're just going to take your right leg and bring it over. Good. And oh then my God, slide yourself me. back so that your knee is hooked around like that. That's it. And then the left leg stays underneath you. We don't put loads of weight in the left stirrup. Actually, we have light weight in the stirrup. And what we're going to do is, this is very good for your position because we're going to sit up nice and tall. You want to think almost as if you were trying to lift your bum off the saddle and come up onto your right thigh here. So you're putting more weight up through so this right through thigh. Yeah. yeah. And then with this leg, you're going to point the toe, tuck it in against there and then push in against the saddle like that. Oh, I feel like a lady. It's very good. So what you have to think, because these saddles are longer and you actually sat further back yeah, on the horse's definitely, back, so you need to think about bringing the weight to where it would be. If we were in a conventional saddle, Which is more here. you'd be sat sort of there. Yeah. So you need to think about bringing that weight up onto the right thigh. So it's almost like you're lifting your bum a little bit, tall through the rib cage, like you've got a plumb line out the top of your head, pulling you nice and tall. So it's really good for your position. You can feel how that gives your leg a big it, workout. Yeah, definitely. That right thigh gets tired very quickly when you're not used to it. Yeah. We quite often will take the leg over and stretch it out and bring it back again. So that is your position, sat on the side saddle. And actually, so I thought, because they're so deep kind of like panel, I thought I'd feel like I'm miles off him, but I don't feel that much further off him than I would off no, in a normal saddle. No, not at all. And actually then, if you're sat, you should be sat. <laughs> so you should be sat square. Yeah. So from behind, you should look as straight in your hips and as you hold. would if you were sat astride. Shift your whole weight just a little bit to the right. There you go. I tell you what, I there. You put way less weight in that stirrup. Yes, don't you? you do. And actually, you can ride side saddle without a stirrup. You don't need it. Yeah. Because like you think. shouldn't be pressing into it. Yeah. It's just a, a little bit of support. Yeah, I would have thought I'd be clean because I've only got Anything. one stirrup. But I thought I would have thought I would be. You might want it a little bit shorter. Probably for you. I would. I would have thought I'd be like clinging on to that stirrup for dear life. No, and that's one of them. that's the worst thing you can do because as soon as you do that, you're going to pull the saddle this way yeah. off the horse. It's all about, there you go. I it's guess it's all about, all about you've got to sit on that right side. And probably with this one, you'd want a little bit more padding here just to help keep you straight. But no, that's a very good position. And then how on earth do you dismount? So to dismount, you're gonna take your foot out the stirrup. You're going to bring this leg over so you're sat completely sideways. And that's it. You're going to, with this hand, hold on to your fixed head. Yeah, that one. You're going to give me that hand. <laughs> You're going to slide down, bend your knees when you land. There you go. 
That's quite cool, actually. That wasn't as, as weird as I thought it would be. No, but no, it's good. And it's actually, you're surprisingly, between your fixed yeah. head and your looping head, it does keep you nice and secure in that saddle. I'm not sure I'd want to jump like that. I'm not sure I'd want Woody to move, if I'm honest. I think if you push me down the hill, I would have to do my hands. <laughs> well, that is a side saddle, people. Don't forget, um, if you're interested in saddle, saddle fittings, or anything like that, then don't forget to check out all of my other videos. In the meantime, take care, stay safe. Lots and lots of love.